Ng, the president met with Senate Democrats on Capitol Hill today after they unveiled their $3.5 trillion spending plan. That's separate from the $580 billion infrastructure plan that got support from both sides of the aisle. The president also invited a bipartisan group of governors and mayors to the White House today, including Vermont Governor Phil Scott. You see him in the picture right there. It's in an attempt to sell his infrastructure spending priorities. And now Phil Scott is back on his way back home after that meeting with the president. NBC 5's Carolyn Sistrain is live in South Burlington tonight. She has more on what this meeting means for the state of Vermont. Carolyn. Well, Brian, Alice, that meeting mainly focused on infrastructure, but some saw the opportunity for Governor Scott to further strengthen the relationship between the Green Mountain State and the president. Vermont Governor Phil Scott in Washington, D.C. Wednesday. You want to cross your T's, dot your I's politically. Meeting with President Joe Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, the Secretary of Commerce and Secretary of Labor, joined by a small bipartisan group of governors and mayors at the White House. The discussion, critical infrastructure investments. The governor ahead of his visit saying in part, quote, as I have long said, smart infrastructure investments are needed to repair America's roads and bridges, invest in rural broadband and clean energy systems, create good jobs and secure our economic future. This is an issue that it's integral to economic growth um, in, a, in a rural community. Matt Dickinson, a political analyst from Middlebury College, discussing the importance of the visit, even if the bipartisan plan doesn't exactly line up with the governor's party politics. A lot of the funding for this um, is not coming out of local coffers. It's coming from this American Rescue Plan. So it's a little bit easier for him to uh, say, I'll swallow my principles if somebody else is paying the bill. Democratic Senator Patrick Leahy weighing in on the visit in a statement saying, quote, it was good to hear a president who put politics aside and who told progressives, moderates and conservatives that at this critical time, he wants everyone to come together for the good of the country. It's similar to his bringing Republicans and Democratic governors together for advice, including our Republican governor, Phil Scott. Dickinson saying the visit and budding relationship between the Republican governor and Democratic president is a smart move by Scott for the state and for himself. He's sort of the, the face of the dwindling Republican Party here. Um, and so he knows when which side his bread is buttered as well politically. It helps to have the president of the United States um, on your side, particularly if you're trying to get a piece of that infrastructure pie. Last week, Scott was appointed to the President's Council of Governors, a bipartisan effort to form a strong relationship between the federal government and state governments. And this isn't the first relationship between a Republican Vermont governor and a Democratic president. Former Vermont Republican Governor Jim Douglas was co-chair of the Council of Governors when he was on it back in 2010 under the Obama administration. We're live in South Burlington tonight. Carolyn Sistran, NBC5 News.